Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I want to introduce you to an app that I think is really useful if you're a Steam Deck user and you like to play non-Steam games like I do and you have a lot of them. Okay, this app was actually recommended to me by one of you guys, one of my viewers called Sturgius. Shout out to you. Thank you for recommending this app for me. It's called Shortex Twig. He actually recommended it to me over a month ago. Sorry it took so long to make a video about it. Okay, so Let's say I am using my Steam Deck and I have a lot of non-Steam games. How would you locate the game folder, the prefix folder, where your save is, right? What you need to do is you need to open up your Dolphin, go to Home, and then you need to click on these three lines. Make sure Show Hidden Files. This is checked because you need to go to .steam. It's a hidden folder. And then Steam. Then Steam Apps. And then Compact Data. So here is where all your prefixes are for your games. For non-Steam games, like it's like longer numbers. For Steam games, it's shorter. It's normally the Steam ID. So it's easier to locate your Steam games because it's using the Steam ID, something you can reference. But for non-Steam games, it's just these random numbers and it's random. Like it's generated by your Proton every time you like add a non-Steam game. Even if it's the same game, you add it like the second time, the number is just different. Okay, so... Like it'll be very hard for me to let's say I want to um, locate Marvel Spider Man Remastered, and I want to go to its prefix folder to back up the save file. I, I'll like it wouldn't be easy for me to like search every single one of these files folders. Okay, so normally what I do there is a workaround. I normally just open up Proton Tricks, okay, and I just locate my non Steam shortcut Marvel Spider Man Remastered four one one six M. So at the, there's a number at the end, and this matches the folder number. So it's easy, okay? So 41167, so this one. So I know this is the my Marvel Spider-Man remastered prefix folder. So go into drive C. This is like, now it's like Windows territory. I know like these folder names are very familiar, but uh, let's say I want to locate the save file. So normally I just go online and just type it. So right here, Spider-Man remastered save location. You probably get it in Reddit or something like that. Someone would, would tell you. Okay, so now it's here. So Windows, it's under uh, user documents. Okay, so I just go back here, users. Okay, Steam user. I go to documents and I can find it. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. So here's the save folder. Yeah, so yeah, that's how you do it. But there's an easier way now with short text. Okay, so I've got this short text, right? So what is it? Just go to this GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description. Go to releases, get the latest one. Okay, just download this, Shortex installer.desktop. Okay, I already have it, so I'm not going to install it. So I go to my downloads folder and let me locate my Shortex installer.desktop. So I just double click it, click execute. Okay, and it'll just install itself. You have to answer a few questions. So welcome. Okay. And then do you want to add the prefix ID to the shortcut name like this? Yes, I do. And then do you want to add the size of the target directory? Yes, I do. And would you like the, the setup system service for background updates? Yes, I do. Okay, so it's set up. It's done. So now if I want to locate my prefix folder, I just go to home. And then I go to Shortex. This folder is newly generated, Shortex. And you can see here. I've got all these like symlink shortcuts. They direct me directly to the the prefix folder. So Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. I just double click it, and this is the prefix folder. Like, so it's so much easier. I don't have to. No, it has a name. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, and like if you don't want this like path, if you want the full path, you don't want the shortcut path like shortex. You don't want this. It's also possible. So just right click it and sh click show target and it just shows you the target and this is the like the full path like sometimes you want the full path and not the symbling path so yeah easy right so this is really useful and it's useful for um let's say i open up Wii mod like some people say oh, okay i open a game or Wii mod or vortex mod manager stuff like that and like sometimes you have to point your exe and it opens up a file finder like inside the app and you know you can't access your like your hidden folders there okay let me show you let's say i open up 
Um, okay, let me change my camera location. Okay, let's say I've got this right here, and um, I want to go to Dragon's Dogma. Okay, I think the, the camera is in the way. Okay, it should be here. Okay. Dragon's Dogma, let's say this. Okay, let me change my camera again. Okay, and let's say I need to locate my EXE. So here, add custom. Okay, and then if you go to like home, if you want to locate your prefix folder, I go to home, deck. All right, there's no dot steam. There's no dot steam. Can I type it? Maybe, let's see. Okay, you can type it, but yeah, some people find that annoying but you can type it um, but some apps don't let you type it so for now since i've got short text i just go here home and then deck and then short text and here i can like locate my my prefix folder so let's find dragon's dogma okay it's right here and then prefix privacy games dragon's dogma okay here's the exe so it's so much easier like this and I can just click play and it locates my game. I can play it, right? So yeah, so much, so much easier. Okay, let me alternate F4 and close the game first. I don't want to play it. Okay, let's quit Remod. So yeah, this is like really useful. Okay, let me move my camera back. Wrong location. Okay, sorry for like flicking my camera around. Okay, so yeah, very, very useful app. And you know, shout out to you, um, Sturgis, thank you for letting me know about this app. It's really helpful for like non-Steam game users like me on the Steam Deck. Okay, just a quick note. So once you've installed Shortex, you get this new shortcut on your desktop, update Shortex, all right? It's needed because if you add a new non-Steam game, uh, it doesn't automatically update the, like, the sim links, okay? So let's say I demonstrate, I add a non-Steam game here. Browse, and let's say I just go for like... Um, yeah, uh, we mod 8.13.10. Let's say I install this. Okay, and then like it's right here on the side. So 8.13.10. Like you need to run it once first in Proton to like generate the prefix folder. Okay. Okay, so let's just run it. Let's just run it. Okay, it didn't install properly, but it's okay. I just wanted to generate the prefix folder. And if you go to my Dolphin and you go to short text, like it's not here. It doesn't automatically generate, right? So what you need to do, you need to press like update short text and it will just update. So yes, yes, yes. It's kind of like installing it again. Okay, and then if you go back here, it, it changed. So go to home. Short text, oh, wrong. Short text, and you can see I've got Wiimod 8.13.10 here. Okay. Um, if I go to show target, okay, so yeah, you can see, see, it just like this, this um, prefix folder was just created. So this is the Wiimod prefix folder. All right. So yeah, just a quick update. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. And, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.